Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn on how to use Microsoft Bookings with multiple attendees. So first and foremost, you have to make sure that you have subscribed to one of their plans in order for you to access the Microsoft Bookings. So as you can see right here, I already have my bookings. So you just have to click on this icon at the top left of your screen. And then you'd be able to see here the bookings option. So you just have to click on it. And once you're done clicking, you'd be directed to this page. Then what you're going to do next is you have to create a new booking page. So just click on this plus create booking page option over here. Okay, so as you can see, I already have two booking page, but what we are going to do now is to create a new one. So we are going to create from scratch. So you have to create a shared booking page. Choose how you want to get started. So we're going to create from scratch. And then here we are going to give our booking page a name. So I'm just going to name this one as proposal. And of course, you can also add your own logo. And for the business type, I'm just going to select other. And for the business hours, we can change that later on. Now, let's proceed to the next step. So just click on the next option. Then right here, you just have to invite stuff. So invite a few people to get started. You can always make changes. Invite external users or configure their availability later on. So right here, you can search or add a resource. So, I'm going to select the conference option. Okay. So, I'm going to select this one. And the next is, you just have to click on the next button, this one at the bottom right of your screen. And now, let us set up our service. Okay. So, you'll be able to add more services and customize later on. So our service is an appointment type. So we've created an initial appointment type below. So we can change this or customize this later on. And here we are going to choose who can book the appointments. So of course, we're going to choose the anyone. So people can book with a public self-service page. And then just click on create. Then after that, you just have to wait while they're setting up your booking page. So this will take a few minutes. So if you um, quit now, your progress will not be saved. So you just hang on. And then as you can see here, we have successfully created our booking page. So what we're going to do next is we have to go to the booking page section. And then we are going to manage our booking page. So we'll make some a little changes over here. So let's go to the business page access control. So when you click on this arrow over here, and then make sure to select this Disable Direct Self Engine Indexing of Booking Page. So this one is very important. And then if you would like to require a one-time password to create bookings, you can also click on this box over here. But for now, I'm just leave the other settings as it is, and then save these changes. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to proceed to the services section. Okay, so let's go now to the services. And then once we're here, next thing that we should do is we have to check if we can increase the number of attendees. Okay, so when you click on this pencil icon over here, beside the 30 minutes option. Okay, and then when you scroll down, you'd be able to see here the maximum number of attendees. Okay, so as you can see, we cannot change that anymore. So in order for that to increase the maximum number of our attendees is we are going to add a new service, okay? So first, we have to add our service name. So I'm just going to rename this one or add a name like proposal. Then after adding a service name is you have to type out right here a description. And you can also add online meeting over here. So you just have to toggle the switch on. And then for the duration, if you would like to set this up to one day or two days, so you can set it up. But for now, I'm just going to go with 30 minutes. And if you would like to add a buffer time, you can also toggle the switch on and then set up your buffer time. And then right here, you can also leave important notes, okay? And then here below the notes, as you can see, we can now increase the maximum number of attendees. 
So you just have to click on the arrow that is facing upward or facing downwards if you would like to increase or decrease the number of attendees. So for example, I would like to have 10 attendees at a time. So you just have to increase it accordingly. And I can also let your customers manage their appointment when it was booked by you or your staff on their behalf. So you can also toggle the switch on over here. Then after that, you just have to click on the save changes option. This one at the bottom right of your screen. So now that we have successfully increased the number of our attendees, next thing that we should do is to share this link so that people would be able to book an appointment with us. Okay, so let's go to the booking page first and then check some of the settings that we have to adjust or we can go back to the services section and then change some of the settings and if you would like to increase the number of your attendees, you just have to go ahead and click on the service that we have created and then click on the pencil icon and then there you'd be able to find the maximum number of attendees. So now let's go to the booking page and then you can send this one to your customers using your email or you can also embed a code or you can just simply copy the link and then send this using different social media platforms. Okay, so I'm just going to try this one and then open a new tab and then paste here the link and as you can see, now the people with your link would be able to book an appointment. Okay, so as you can see, you have here the available date and of course the available time. And here you can also add their details. We have the um, record section. And then let's go back here to the services section. And uh, so, for example, we would like to increase the number of our attendees. Or you can also add an online meeting section. So we can toggle the switch on. So let's go back here and then maybe I'm just going to adjust the maximum number of attendees. And then after that, you just have to click on save changes or you would like to discard your changes. Okay, so this tutorial actually focuses on how we can increase the number of attendees or how we can add multiple attendees at a time. And if you would like to... Um, know more about bookings on Microsoft, we have a couple of videos and if you would like us to make a specific videos about bookings, so do not forget to leave your questions or comments in the comment section so we'd be able to create new videos as soon as possible. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!